Since it launched the revolutionary Prius in 1997, Toyota has been a leader in hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles, which paved the way for the current electric vehicle craze. However, in spite of its roots, the Japanese brand has been hesitant to jump headfirst into the all-electric trend. Toyota's first 100% EV, the awkwardly named BZ4X, has sold only a few hundred units as of mid-October and according to a report by Electric, the Japanese carmaker doesn't plan to ramp up production. Until 2025, Toyota's slowness to adopt all-electric vehicles was reinforced by the company's president, Akio Toyota. As the Wall Street Journal reports, people involved in the auto industry are largely a silent majority, Toyota said. That silent majority is wondering whether EVs are really okay to have as a single option. But they think it's the trend so they can't speak out loudly. Because the right answer is still unclear, we shouldn't limit ourselves to just one option. Although that sentiment is controversial, it merits consideration. According to automobile research firm JD Power, all electrics amount to only a fraction of the total new car market, introducing the Corolla Cross H2 concept. So what is Toyota's alternative solution to meet increasingly strict environmental laws and fossil fuel phase-out? A new prototype hydrogen internal combustion engine, abbreviated IC, car called the Corolla Cross H2 concept. Power comes from the hot 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder used in the GR Corolla and GR Yaris, converted to using hydrogen as a fuel. What does that conversion process look like? To begin, thick, armored fuel tanks are required for holding the highly flammable hydrogen technology that Toyota gleaned from its FCV, fuel cell electric vehicle, the Mirai. The engine itself gets hardened valves and valve seats, stronger connecting rods, and fuel injectors that are designed for a gas, not liquid. Like a standard Corolla, the Cross H2 concept has room for five passengers as well as their luggage. Besides the fact that hydrogen is the most abundant element in the entire universe, the benefits over EVs are higher range and faster refueling times, only 90 seconds in the case of the hydrogen-powered GR Yaris H2. There is also an obvious reduction in the use of limited supply elements like lithium and nickel, which are required critical materials used in the cells of the battery packs of EV construction. The Corolla Cross H2 is currently undergoing real-world evaluation, with winter testing to begin soon in northern Japan. A large V8 is in the works, too, in what will be exciting news to gearheads everywhere. Toyota has also partnered with Yamaha Motor to develop a hydrogen-fueled V8 engine. In an announcement earlier this year, Yamaha said the 5-liter V8 would be based on the one used by the Lexus RC Coupe, with modifications to its cylinder heads and fuel injectors, among other things. Yamaha claims that it'll produce 455 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 398 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM. That's a bit less power than the original gasoline V8 that it's based on, but still quite respectable. But the most stunning feature of the hydrogen V8 has to be the 18-to-1 top-mounted exhaust manifold, which Yamaha claims creates a distinct high-frequency sound. This technology has a checkered past. The concept of powering an internal combustion engine with hydrogen is not a new one, most notably. German automaker BMW produced the 750HL back in 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. The Hydrogen 7 was based on BMW's traditional gasoline-powered 6-liter V12, but with modifications to burn hydrogen as well as gasoline. That technically made it a dual-fuel engine and only 100 total were produced. Some of the downsides to hydrogen is that it's highly flammable, difficult to process and store and the combustion process emits nitrous oxide. While nitrous oxide may not be considered as bad as carbon monoxide from a fossil fuel burning engine, it is nonetheless considered a pollutant by the EPA. The number of nitrous oxide emissions from a hydrogen engine can be reduced by introducing additional air into the mixture, but that also greatly decreases efficiency, necessitating a larger displacement engine than its gasoline counterpart. But beyond that, there's one more big issue that plagues hydrogen-powered combustion engines. EVs are not without fault either, as opposed to almost all the other automakers who are. Betting everything on electric cars, Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality is more diversified, evaluating multiple technologies to achieve the goal of zero emissions. 
this ethos seems increasingly prescient when you consider that with the war in Ukraine and its impact on energy supplies, countries in Europe are looking for ways to cut energy use. In fact, Switzerland has gone so far as to encourage EV drivers to only use their cars for urgent needs like going to work or going to the grocery store, and it could be codified into a law. Whether you see hydrogen-powered ICE vehicles as the wave of the future or the proverbial wild goose chase, kudos to Toyota for at least thinking outside the box. The idea sure holds a lot of promise, but some major advancements in technology with regard to the infrastructure and storage of hydrogen will have to be made before widespread adoption is even possible. So, how does Toyota's hydrogen technology work? As a recap, Toyota has two hydrogen propulsion technologies. The one you're probably familiar with is the Mirai, which is a fuel cell electric vehicle, FCV. This technology takes advantage of the bonding process of hydrogen with oxygen to generate electricity for the electric motors. Water is then emitted from its system, which makes it a very clean method of vehicle propulsion. On the other hand, Toyota also has what they call their hydrogen combustion engine, and this is what's powering their special Toyota GR Yaris. The technology is as straightforward as it sounds. The engine combusts hydrogen to create power, which means it mostly feels like your typical IC, from the way it drives to how it sounds. More importantly for us enthusiasts, it still preserves the manual transmission. Hydrogen combustion, however, isn't entirely clean in terms of its emissions. While more studies need to be done at this point, hydrogen combustion engines also emit NOx. If Toyota manages to find a solution for this, then the IC might have a much longer life down the line. Toyota to build a new hybrid engine at a UK plant. Toyota has invested in its UK engine plant to support the production of a new fifth generation hybrid engine. Toyota Manufacturing UK's TMUK factory in Deeside, North Wales, is benefiting from £465,000 of investment to upgrade the assembly line for the powertrain. The 1.8-liter engine will debut in 2023 in a new Corolla range, including hatchback and touring sports. Models built by Team UK at Bernaston in Derbyshire. Thanks to improved engine calibration, the new hybrid powertrain produces more power and improved performance and drivability. Both 1.8 and 2-liter powertrains will be available, the 1.8 further offering lower CO2 emissions compared to the current system, the hybrid electric transmission including motor generators and electrical components are built in Poland. Toyota's new technology replaces the fourth-generation hybrid electric system produced. Since 2016, Marvin Cook, Toyota Motor Europe Executive Vice President for Manufacturing, said, Toyota's affordable, low-emission hybrid electrified vehicles have an important role to play in our pan-European multi-technology strategy, which seeks to help everyone reduce their carbon emissions. Hybrid technology now features an 85% and 70% respectively of the engines and transmissions produced at Team UK and Team MP, which is a reflection of the ever-growing customer demand for Toyota Hybrid. Products, what do you think about Toyota's hydrogen engine? Let me know down below. If you want to continue to learn about Toyota, Tesla, and anything else related with vehicles, we have got two more videos waiting on the screen for you to check out. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos related to cars. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.